Hello, today is May 6th, Saturday. Saturday, May 6th, 2023. So I'd I think I will have a second chat with you about limerence. <laughs> uh, feeling more refreshed, relaxed. Now, healthy love versus limerence. I'll go back to my Facebook, read up on it a little bit more. Tell me what's earlier. Tell me what's matter. Okay, Facebook. <laughs> and changed it. There we go. So what I wrote about limerence today is, this is how it goes. May 6, 2023. The fears, the resentment, the limerence. The limerence is about unhealthy, immature love. Infatuation, obsession, crush, the idea of being in love. This limerence love comes from poor comes from poor experiences in childhood and suffering from uh, adverse child experiences or neglect, PTSD in childhood. So that would be childhood PTSD, creating created from not enough validation. So in childhood, the ego is is about taking on parental. Role, roles in childhood um, also feeling like uh, it's all my fault so they try to fix the problems and this is where early onset of enable, enabling takes place or perfectionism so this is when uh, uh, one discovers a savior or hero complex to rise above the ground in, uh, from the unhealthy state of mind However, uh, people who have suffered from enabling uh, circumstances or behaviors through fears and resentment and it comes from attachment wound from uh, a wound may come from attachment wounds from later uh, earlier on in life or uh, past abusive relationships, whether as childhood or uh, adulthood young adulthood this is about and if of course if there's no healing taking place from these situations for me what works is the fears the resentment the, and i talk about a situation that may be pro problematic so it's like oh i'm acknowledging this right so i can find my place of healing spirit soul and body uh meditation works for me and this is about, so this is about, about rising about the wounds, the hurt from the past. And we got this. And we can, as we practice self-care, we get to practice more and more, more about letting go of enabling behaviors, thoughts, or <coughs> behaviors, thoughts, or <coughs> beliefs of ourselves. Because we are not our trauma as we release the trauma we learn about healing we are not our fears or resentment or limerence and we we heal from those situations as we become stronger within ourselves really we let go of that hurt or abuse and we start healing it, not by playing around with it, but allowing it to release. And that's how we heal. Uh, meditation works for me. And now I'll read it in French for you. La peur, le ressentiment et la limorance. La limorance parle d'amour immature, malsain. Cet amour de limorance vient de mauvaises expériences en enfance et souffrant 
de négligente ou, ou enfance PTSD, dans l'enfance crée de la manque de la de validation ou euh, donc d'être enfant. L'ego consiste à assumer les rôles parentaux dans l'enfance. C'est alors que le complexe sauveur héros s'élève au-dessus de soi dans un état dans un état d'esprit malsain. Il s'agit de se s'élever au-dessus des blessures, des blessures du passé. Tu, tu as ça, tu l'as ça. ça Laissez les blessures aller, respirez mieux, en perdre le dedans. Et le dehors. Soyez, soyez bénis alors que vous pratiquez le, le, le soin personnel. Un jour à la fois. So, healthy love versus limerence. Healthy love is about growing in a place of security, safety, understanding, and having a balanced life where we have two healthy parents who love us, who take care of us, who are there for us, you know, and it's the same thing with healthy love we discover that with the platonic relationships with our parents with our healthy platonic relationship with family members with healthy platonic relationship with our brothers and sisters as well as our children and with healthy love there's healthy boundaries healthy understanding this is the this is me this is the boundary and this is you having self-awareness of ourselves and also having self-awareness of others having self-awareness of our self-love having other awareness of other people's boundaries and the reason why i'm mentioning that today is because sometimes we feel so overwhelmed when we when we haven't healed from certain situations the overwhelming feelings there and then the fear is there and then the resentment is there and this is called a wound attachment so we keep repeating the same unhealthy behaviors in that same unhealthy thought process and that same emotions right so for those of you who still need healing like many of us do from a hurt from the past or past relationship those same patterns repeat doesn't matter how many partners we change through life those same patterns are still there until we allow ourselves to heal from them it's okay to experience healthy love instead of repeating something that is not healthy it's okay to to have discernment and realize oh i haven't healed from my past relationship and this is that saying those who haven't learned from their past behaviors are de are deemed to repeat them right because it's an unhealthy love that we need to heal from those moments where we've experienced unhealthy moments or unhealthy love or abuse of any kind whether it was done by another person and i really uh, like this video that i watched just earlier and i might include that in there you know sometimes we think oh i can fix it oh i can fix it <laughs> but really uh i'll name you the name and i'll add that too that video because it was really insightful this video this uh, it's the narcissist 
Narcissus came into your to your life to teach you a lesson. Right? So when we're experiencing unhealthy love, it's usually about narcissism, right? So here it says the narcissistic came into your life to teach you a lesson. And then the description. Uh, it's uh, Miss Faye world, Miss Faye's world. So she's, she's got about 38,000 uh, views on this one video. So I'll post that, as I said, including the link. Uh, was published on December 12, 2022. And uh, this is what her, on the description it says. The narcissistic teaches you kindness by being unkind, uh, tolerance by being judgmental, unconditional love by being withholding and punishing, honestly by being deceptive, honesty by being deceptive. These are profound spiritual lessons to take that take a lifetime to learn. So you, it, we, the, re, the purpose why we're here, right? We're here listening to this video, you'll find it's about learning, growing, and healing. Learning, growing, and healing. So I really liked it, so hope you enjoy it. Have a great evening, and I'll just put part number two here.